One commonly recurring theme in Evolve 2 is the search for some sort of accommodation with radiation in various forms. A vampire and even the human characters have to struggle to try to adapt to keep from being wiped out by radiation, whether they're in space or whether they're on Earth. One of the ideas I was experimenting with in writing the story is that virtually any story can potentially be made better by having good things happen to the characters, even a horror story, because people experience their greatest fear when things are about to get better. At the beginning of the, of the story, the vampire thinks it's an insane idea to blot, try to blot out the sun, to put dust out there to try and keep more sun from getting to the earth. You can see that even as a sort of as a vampire. But later on, when he's had his encounter with the woman who has these great capacity for generating abundance, and he can start to feel the possibility that his life might get better, he becomes more fearful. And he starts to think more like a vampire. Uh, like the entities that try to manipulate our perceptions of reality to control us through fear. One of these techniques is the one discussed in George Orwell's 1984, where the party tells people that gravity doesn't exist to better manipulate them, or tells people to engage in doublethink, the act of believing two mutually exclusive things at the same time, and then convincing oneself that no manipulation has taken place. Over the years, this technique, I think, has been employed, except that eventually people get used to it. So the complexity of the contradictions and the sheer number of contradictions has to become ever greater. One of the uh, ways this shows up in science is the way that things which make sense at small scales become absurd when they're scaled up. An example of this was used by Schrodinger when he came up with the famous Schrodinger, Schrodinger's cat paradox. He was trying to show that an equation trying to describe the behavior of objects at very small scales didn't make sense if you applied it, if you scaled it up to something as big as a cat. He described a situation in which there was a cat in a box with a 50% chance at any time that it might be poisoned. And the equation trying to describe the behavior of the object in the box would say that the cat, instead of being either dead or alive, was 50% dead and 50% alive, therefore both dead and alive at the same time, and therefore having an undead existence much like Dracula's. So according to a recent book, Schrodinger described the condition of the cat as draculated, like, like Dracula. There are other instances of how these contradictions come about today that I think are being employed for political purposes. Uh, one of them is the idea of a greenhouse gas, which begins with a calculation based on Stefan's law. In early history, about 1909, the basic experimental principle on which a greenhouse gas is based was disproved. So then they had to introduce a calculation to try to say the same thing by more confusing means. And nowadays we have computer models to do it by even more confusing means. But the calculation began with a process much like the vampire employs with the story. He sees the possibility of using Stefan's law to do the equivalent of what he calls blotting out the sun with math. He thinks, well, maybe the sun really is in the millions of degrees, but I can do this equation, and then I can tell myself it's only a few thousand degrees. 